Hey everyone, it's April 8th and welcome to episode number 6 of Learn to Yo-Yo. In the last episode, we learned how to do the trick Robin Hood. Let me know down in the comments how that trick's going for you guys and if you have any questions about the trick we're learning today, go ahead and drop a comment down below and I'd be happy to help. Today, we're going to be learning a trick called Breakaway. It looks just like this. And the Breakaway is the foundation for so many different yo-yo tricks out there. And it's actually a different type of throw. So just like we learned how to do the sleeper, which is a regular throw. Then we learned the forward pass, which is a forward throw. The breakaway is used in a bunch of different tricks, like I said, and it's actually a throw from the side. So instead of the yo-yo spinning in front of us, pointing this way, it's gonna be spinning in front of us, actually pointed to the sides of us. So the way we're gonna do that is, instead of throwing the yo-yo straight down in front of us this way, what we're going to do is keep our arm in the same position. So of course the yo-yo is set up on our hand the same way that we've learned in the last few episodes. But what we're going to do from here is actually turn our arm out this way. And it might feel kind of awkward at first when we try throwing this way, but as you practice it, it'll feel more natural. And what we're going to do is try to get our hand in a comfortable position. We want to kind of try to stay loose, just like with the other tricks. If we're really stiff and we try to throw all crooked and stiff, it's not going to work very well. So what we want to do is loosen up, hold the yo-yo straight out, and out here to the side, and then we want to watch the yo-yo and make sure that as we're looking at it, it's, it's pointed straight out that way. So that way, when we go to throw it, it comes out of our hand straight, like this, and then you can see right here, it's spinning with the face of the yo-yo pointed in front of us. And the way we want to practice this trick is actually in one fluid motion. So when we go to throw it, the yo-yo is going to swing all the way around, and then it's going to come right up here to our opposite side, and right from there, we're going to slightly tug the yo-yo back, and it'll come back to our hand just like that. So let's check out what that looks like one more time. And as you're practicing that, you might find that it's also kind of difficult to get the yo-yo to swing all the way up to here, and you might kind of throw it straight toward the ground. And so what we can do to kind of fix that or to help us get the swing going is if we throw a little bit out to our side. So I don't mean throwing like way out like this, but just instead of throwing straight down, you can kind of throw it out a little bit. So it would look more like that, right? And that was pretty exaggerated. I don't recommend throwing it out that far. But if you are having that issue where it's just throwing straight down, you can try throwing it out a little bit and that's going to help you get that swing and then as you practice you're going to find a really comfortable natural angle to throw it from and as we're practicing you might run into a couple issues one of which would look something like this where the yo-yo again like we probably learned in the sleeper is kind of tilted like this right so not only do we want the yo-yo to be straight like this, but we also want it to be straight this way. So it has to be both ways. So when we're throwing, we want to make sure to keep our hand not tilted forward this way or tilted back this way. So from this side, it would look like this. We don't want it to be here or here. We want to make sure it's straight, but then also we don't want to throw this way or this way. So what I mean by that is when we go to throw, if we throw from here and the yo-yo is not straight out to our side, then the way that's going to look is this. And then what happens is we're not going to be able to finish the trick. So I'll turn this way so you can see what would happen there. But if we throw that way where the yo-yo's moved forward, that front side of the yo-yo is pointed in front of us instead of straight like this, the way that's going to look is this. And then we're not going to be able to catch the yo-yo. So again, let me show you what it looks like from this side where we're going to throw. We want to keep the yo-yo straight just like this. And then we're going to throw right there. So as you can see, the yo-yo came all the way around and it's straight the whole time. Now, it is pretty difficult to get the yo-yo to be perfectly straight. So like I said, it does take a lot of practice. But one thing that helps a ton with this trick is if you can find a line somewhere on the ground to stand in front of. And that way, you can kind of line the yo-yo up. So let's say I'm standing here and there's a line right in front of me, maybe like where some tile meets some carpet or you can even just make a line on the ground with some string. And what you're going to do is line the yo-yo up with that line. So that way when you're throwing, you can see that it lines up with whatever you're standing in front of. 
And your goal is when you throw it to get the yo-yo to line right up with that. Just like that. So as you practice it, again, you might find that you have this line in front of you and when you go to throw and your yo-yo is spinning, oh, it doesn't line up with there. Let's try it again. Oh, that time was perfect. So like I said, it just takes a lot of practice and eventually you're gonna get the feel for it and the trick's gonna become natural. And as you're getting comfortable kind of moving from throwing in front out to the side here, one thing that tends to happen too is when you go to throw, it might go, the yo-yo might go behind you. So it would look kind of something like this. And we wanna avoid that um, because obviously that's not gonna allow us to catch the yo-yo the way we want to. And ideally we wanna we want be doing the breakaway right in front of us and before you know it, you'll be busting out those breakaways like it's nothing. And with that being said, that's gonna wrap up episode number six of Learn to Yo-Yo. I know this was a quick one, guys, but it's time for you guys to get right to practicing. I wanna challenge you to do 100 perfect breakaways. And if you guys can make that happen, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear how the practice is going. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next one where we're gonna be learning our first string trick, the elevator. I'll see you guys then.